If we're gonna change our destination, we have to start from a different place. And that means taking time away to engage with others, to examine the beliefs and assumptions our systems are based on. CJJR is not about going to a conference. It's not about bringing in a consultant. It's about an ongoing working relationship with individuals that challenge us to follow up and actually take the lessons we've learned and translate that actually into practice and action. I was working with other leaders concerned about the tremendous disproportionality for kids of color involved with my department, but with no idea of how to try to even start to address the problems. I think I was pretty heavily influenced from a very young age. My dad was a social worker and he did different things involving child welfare. I think that helped at a young age to instill a sense of empathy. Now that I have my son, I think about all the challenges some of these kids have to deal with that are involved in our juvenile justice system. And then thinking about, what if this was my child? That has to be the question that we ask in every single thing we do, every decision that we make. So many kids of color in our country are experiencing the system in a way that doesn't provide them equity and opportunity. We were grappling with that in my county, and then I saw this email announcement from Georgetown about the certificate program on reducing racial and ethnic disparities. And I went to various colleagues that I worked with from different disciplines, and I said, I think going to the certificate program would be a tremendous opportunity to learn together. Our certificate programs are unique in the sense that they bring different stakeholders together in an environment outside of their normal workday. So they kind of think more freely and are a little bit more open to learning how each agency or organization operates. And that kind of intensity of the learning experience creates a cohesiveness that I think really fosters the ability to take what you're learning and actually move it into practice. The certificate program was a mix of experts in the field doing presentations, but they also had a lot of interactive aspects of it, having group dinners, which is really where a lot of the rich conversations happen and opportunities to talk about, hey, that concept that came up today, what do you think about that? Or what's been your experience with that? And I think to really affect systemic change, you have to have those conversations. One of the beauties of the certificate program is you become a fellow who can reach out to other folks who have gone through the certificate programs. You become a part of a family and part of a team and you have all these resources that you can reach out to. When we first developed the certificate program, we had to think hard about what is it about a certificate program that will lead to meaningful change. So we added to our certificate program the idea of a capstone project, that they would take that learning that took place at Georgetown and then pick some dimension of that issue, some focus that they realized was something they needed to work on back in their home community. And then we work with them for that year-long period of time to implement that capstone project to move forward with the change. For our capstone, we examined what services are available to youth who are starting to dip their toe into the water of getting into trouble. We came up with this concept of some sort of early intervention program where we could divert kids from being referred to the juvenile justice system. And when we came home from Georgetown, within uh, two weeks, we convened everybody together and started rolling up our sleeves saying, okay, we learned all of this and we need to fill in this action plan. About 10 to 11 months after participating in the certificate program, we had secured that funding and created a previously unavailable opportunity for kids in Multnomah County to have. Those who are doing great transformational work in child welfare and juvenile justice are swimming upstream every day. It's really a certificate program and a commitment to ongoing work that eventually turns the river. And that's what we have to do. With.